quick over a new feature as of day, today being May 14th, and uh, that is a long overdue feature in my opinion. That's how to take a screenshot in VR using Oculus Rift and Rift S. So the Oculus version that we're using right now is 1.37.0, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're going to go to our home. So this is probably where you start. Uh, you're going to hit the flat Oculus button. It's right there on your right hand controller. So not the two face buttons that stick up, but the right, uh, the flat button uh, that's closest to where your hand is. And uh, you may start in this home screen. You may start in your library. Basically, though, we want this bar. So you want to take your right hand with your right grip. So that's not your trigger, but your other button there. You're probably hitting with your middle or your ring finger. Grab. You can grab kind of anywhere, but I have better luck with this little empty space here. Grab and move this wherever you want it. Uh, because the screenshot feature is actually tied to this right here. Screenshot. Uh, you don't actually have to click, you can just hover and hit that. The thing with the screenshot though is there is a five second delay. You get a countdown, so just make sure you're looking at whatever you want to capture. And then you'll get this message. Uh, one thing I'll say is make sure that message pops up and then disappears. Uh, I've had probably about an 80 to 90% success rate. Uh, sometimes the picture just doesn't show up and I think it's because I've been exiting out too soon or something like that. The picture will be stored in your default pictures uh, directory. I can't tell you where that is because I don't know how your computer set up. Usually that's C slash user slash blah 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 with your name and then pictures. Or maybe if you go to uh, just your file explorer you'll see on the left hand side it'll say pictures. Uh, as you would expect and hope uh, this does work while in a game or experience. Just to prove here, let's say you, you got an awesome high score in Beat Saber. I do not do that ever. Um, I don't want to click any of these because I don't want to start a song. But same thing, we're going to hit that flat Oculus button on the right hand. It's going to bring up this. Just go ahead and hover. Now once you click screenshot, you're going to get that, that five second countdown. All you have to do to get out of here is hit that, that uh, Oculus button again. So we're going to hit screenshot with the trigger. We're going to hit Oculus menu button. We're going to wait. And there's our screenshot in our pictures folder. So as I mentioned, you can do that in Oculus. Uh, you can also do it with Steam VR apps. If I can close this correctly. So we're going to wait for Oculus Home to load back up here a second. There we go. And so this is Elder Scrolls Skyrim. A Steam VR exclusive. You cannot buy this on Oculus or any other platform currently. Now I will say this seems to be app specific. Uh, in Steam because I have other Steam games like Carnage Chronicles which does not seem to let you do this. Uh, I think it's a function of the app itself because I've gone through the Steam options, Steam VR options, and haven't seen a way to change this. Uh, but basically what you're going to do with this, so Oculus was your Oculus button on your right hand. Steam is actually your menu button plus your trigger button on your left hand. So you're gonna hit the menu button first and then the trigger button almost immediately after. So menu trigger. And there's your screenshot notification. So as you can see, much faster. Uh, you don't have to uh, have that delay. You don't uh, have to do anything crazy. And it works just like any of the other Steam game streams screenshots. Uh, so we'll take a look at that real quick again. It's menu trigger almost instantly. Obviously, it records whatever just happened in the game, too. So just kind of be mindful of that if your trigger's set to something. Uh, menu trigger. Wait a second. Screenshot. So we should have like three screenshots waiting. Totally fine. So we're going to exit uh, Skyrim here. go to our desktop yeah and so this is the normal thing you'll see when you take a screenshot in Steam if you notice it seems to favor left eye 
I have not seen a, a setting to, to change that. So maybe whenever you are taking screenshots, kind of line up that left eye. Uh, but then you can just do the normal screenshots to upload, do whatever you want in Steam VR. So again, uh, screenshots in Oculus VR uh, using the Rift or the Rift S. It's going to be the same process uh, with this little button here with a five second delay or if you're in a supported steam vr game you'll know if it's supported because if you hit the uh, settings and trigger it'll take a screenshot if it doesn't it's not so you might want to reach out to that developer if you have any questions or uh, issues that i don't cover here uh, drop something in the comments we'll see if we can work it out